Don't let him go. Let him be desperate for air. Keep his head under the water. A little more. Good. All right, let him raise your face now. You. You treacherous worm. How could you betray my trust so horribly? Bah! It was foolish of me to think a human could be trustworthy. Don't you dare feign ignorance. You know exactly what happened. Today, you opened my coffin. The one I told you to take care of and tried to expose me to the sun. If Ariel didn't stop you in time, I would be dead now. That was close, I admit. Do not interrupt me. I did not ask you to tell me your version. What kind of a pathetic excuse could you ever come up with? You were in charge of sealing my coffin and guarding it, as you did many other times before. And now that you know exactly, when I am fully asleep and no one is passing through the corridors, you thought you could get rid of me. It was a good plan, maybe. But luckily, you didn't account for the elf. She shattered your plan, and with it, your hopes of killing me. I will not make the same mistake again. You're not leaving this cell this time. I will have as much fun with you as I want. And then... I will finally drain you completely. This time you shall not escape my wrath, Mordal. Oh, wait. Maybe there is something I can have you do as compensation. First, I will keep you without food for three days. Then, I will have you clean up the whole garden by yourself. If you fail, there will be even more punishment for you. Oh, I know you won't be able to do much without food. That's the whole point. Don't forget you tried to kill me. This is something that really deserves punishment. And a punishment that doesn't just teach you a lesson. No, it's too late for that. When I'm done with you, you will be a mere instrument of my will. You will no longer be able to rebel. Even though it won't be much fun either this way. But make no mistake. While I value fun in my life, I value my life itself even more. And you demonstrated me I can't entrust it to you. Thus, your punishment begins. Now. I feel your pain and your panic. Yes, I know it's because I don't believe you. Can you even blame me after all? You were in charge of protecting me. It's very difficult to believe your version of facts. You were caught red-handed by Ariel after all and she doesn't even love me that much. 
Yet she stopped you from killing me. Oh, yes, that does sound a bit odd. But tell me, if she's the one who wanted to kill me, then how did she get past you? You were always in this room, as I ordered you, weren't you? You would not relinquish your duty and leave me unguarded, right, my servant? Ha! Huh, pathetic! You can't even talk straight without sobbing. Pitiful, seriously. You looked so tough once. Just as proud as I need you to be in order to have fun. And yet now that you're being judged for your crimes, you're being such a baby. Ah, <sighs> all right then. If Era was the one trying to kill me, you should have been able to overpower her before she opened the coffin, even if she used her magic. And when my Minotaur came here, he found you too fighting indeed. Why do you think I believe they are greater than you? Well, I told you. If you were in that room, she wouldn't have been able to fight you out of her way and open the coffin at once. You were still fighting. What are you going to tell me? That you waited until she opened my coffin to try and stop her? That would have been too stupid of you. And I know that while your intelligence isn't exactly top tier, even you should have been able to see the danger in time. You wouldn't even have let her in the room. As you see, there is only one option left. And that is uh, betrayal. I am really very disappointed in you, mortal. I thought you and I could do great things together. But you just proved to be another traitor. But don't despair. If you are really so ashamed and repentant, now that it will make your mistress have fun, with you one last great time. And I feel very thirsty from that treacherous exposition to the damnable sun rays. I need to recover my strength, and only the best blood around here can help me. Willing, as it is says, or unwilling, as it is. <laughs> You taste so much better when I feel the taste of your panic, your despair, your fear. It's such a sweet, exciting taste. I should really scare you more like this. And now, I'll leave you to your prison once again. I will come back in three days and give you a chance to impress me. If you are able to clean the wall garden by yourself, I'll consider keeping you alive. Otherwise, I will let you know just how badly you have outlived your usefulness. <laughs> <laughs>